Good day, good day, everybody. Once again, we are back together. Look, I am looking at this Limpopo uh, prelim exam, and I saw this question eight. Actually, the entire question paper. Yo, I, the examiners from Limpopo, it's not that deep. Yo, or maybe it is. All right, so if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure you're part of the family. Right, let's get into this um, and let's see what it has in store for us. They say in the circuit shown in the diagram below, the reading on the emitter A1 is double that on A2. Okay, so that means if I look at that, you know, I always like to name stuff. So let's call this current I1, meaning the current there should be two times I1, right? Okay, so I'm going to tell you something about that later. Okay, so they say, uh, and the reading on the voltmeter V2 is three times that on V1. So this is 3V1, okay? Right, so let's keep that in mind. Now they say the battery has an EMF of 20.4 volts and an, and an unknown internal resistance R. So they say, uh, define the term EMF for a battery. Remember that EMF is the total energy per unit charge, right, within the battery, okay? Right, or you can say across the terminals of the battery. Right, so in this case, uh, they want to know what is uh, the, uh, the resistance of resistor R1. And guys, I want you to please just stay with me just a little bit, okay? So... If you note there, we've got the total current that is coming out of the circuit and the total current passes through uh, A1, right? And when we get to this node, the current will then divide. Some of the current will go through the 10 ohm resistor as well as resistor R1, okay? And then some of the current would go through resistor R2, okay? So those resistors actually divide the current. Of course, uh, the total current would therefore uh, come out of uh, those that parallel combination, pass through the 9 ohm resistor and back to the battery again. Right, now guys, I want you to please note this. So the normal or rather a, a common mistake that we tend to make is that we would think that R1 and R2 are in parallel, that would be a big, big mistake if we, have a, if we said that, right? Now, which resistors are in parallel in this case? Note that I've got the 10 ohm resistor in series with R1. So the two of these resistors together is therefore in parallel with R2, okay? So if we're looking for the parallel combination, it's actually 10 plus R1 in parallel with R2. Now, I want you to please note, if our total current is twice I1, and we are only having I1 pass through here, what should be the other resistor? Uh, what should be the other current, rather? Think about it. It should also be I1, isn't it? Because if I take I1 plus I1, that will give me 2i2. So the total current is actually twice the current passing through A2. So in that case, it means that the same amount of current passes through those uh, parallel combinations. Now, the only way we can have the same current passing through both of the branches, right, our parallel branches. So in this case, the only way we could have the same current is if the resistance is the same. So which means R2 is actually 10 plus R1. So the parallel amount of resistors. So remember, if I've got resistors that are exactly equal, right? And they're in parallel with each other, they will divide current. But how will they divide current? They will divide current equally, right? And that's exactly what's happening here. Right, they divided the current equally. Okay, right. Now, I want us to also note something very important as well. So we've got the total voltage in our parallel combination. And now what do we note about 
resistors in parallel. Parallel resistors have the same voltage. So which means the voltage across both these resistors should also be 3V1. Okay? So what does this mean now? If we've got V1 already on this one, what should be the voltage there? It should be 2V1 because think about it. 2V1 plus the V1 should give me 3V1 and that's the same voltage that we've got on V2 as well. All right. So those are the parallel resistors. Now, now that I know that the voltage on the 10 ohm resistor is twice the voltage on R1. Now remember that when resistors are in series, they divide voltage proportionally, right? So if I've got twice the voltage on, uh, um, on, the, on the 10 ohm resistor, right? It's 2V1 and this is V1 that already tells me that resistor R1 must be half the resistor the resistance uh, the 10 ohm resistor okay because we share the voltage uh, proportionally right so what's the value of r1 r1 should be equal to 5 ohms right if you wanted to kind of make a calculation about that one right um i would say well we would need to we said this is current a, uh, i1 so I1 is actually, if we take that voltage and current and resistance there, I1 is V1 divided by R1, right? But we know the same current passes through there, right? But also we know I1 is equal to, right? Remember we said this is 2V1. So that's 2V1 over... The resistance which is 10 right so it's the same current okay so we can say that v1 over r1 is equal to 2 v1 over 10 right and in this case of course you can see how we can scratch out or rather cancel out divide both sides by v1 and what do we have we left with the one there and so we can say 2 r1 will be equal to so if we cross multiply two times r1 will be equal to 10 and if we divide both sides uh, by two therefore r1 will be equal to 5 ohms and that's how we'll get uh, to that resistance now what about r2 right now again we know that the current is the same there right we've got current i1 that is passing through there again right but what we do know is that V2 is three times V1, right? So is it possible for us to get, um, you know, the, the resistor or rather the resistance R2, right? So the same thing that we can do, right? Uh, in this case, in fact, uh, this makes it quite simple for us because think about it. We said the voltage, the, the resistance there is 5 ohms. We found the, volt, the, the resistance, right? So the resistance is 5 ohms. And we said the current is the same. Both of them share the same current. So which means our parallel resistors are exactly equal, right? And what did we say? We said R1, R2 is equal to R1 plus 10 ohms but we've now found out that r1 is actually equal to 5 so that will be 5 plus 10 and that should give us 15 ohms so note ladies and gents that r3 r2 rather is equal to 15 ohms okay right so that will be 5 and that will be 15 so that our entire parallel combination has got resistors that are equal. All right. I hope, guys, you uh, really understood that. Now, they say to us, the reading on V2 is 9 volts. Okay. So, okay. So, V2 is 9 volts. Okay. And um, they say to us, calculate the potential difference across the 10 ohm 
resistor. Right, now I want you guys to note, in this case, we know that V, uh, I mean, uh, V2 is three times V1, right? So I'm going to say, but I know V2 is three times V1. I was told that, but they say to me that V2 is nine volts. That's three times V1. We can divide both sides by three. And so what does that give us? That gives us, okay, that cancels that. Nine divided by three is three. So which means V1 will be equal to three volts, okay? Now, I want you to note, what did we say about the 10 ohm resistor? We said, well, the voltage here is two times V1, so that if we add those voltages, they would give us three V1, right? So in this case, we now know what the value of V1 is. So that means that the voltage across the 10 ohm resistor will be two times V1. And in this case, that will give us two times, um, sorry, uh, two times three rather. Okay. And that will be six volts. Right. Of course, ladies and gents, uh, you could have found this another way. And what would have been another way? Now that we know that the voltage is, uh, rather, we the voltage is 9 volts, and the resistance, in this case, uh, we found it, uh, actually, I wrote volts there, that's 15 ohms, we could get the current, right? So another way is just to simply say, Let's find out what the current I1 is. And I1 would be V2 divided by uh, R2, right? And so that would give us 9 divided by 15, right? And I'm going to try and uh, simplify this, right? 3 goes into 9 3 times and into 15, it goes 5 times. So our current is 3 over 5 amperes, okay? Now, we said it's the same current that passes there. So uh, in this case, that passes through A2, right? We did note that those two currents were the same. So that means that V, the voltage across 10 ohm resistor, will be the current, right? It will be the same I1 multiplied by the 10 ohm resistor. So it will be... 3 over 5 multiplied by 10 and in this case that definitely does give us uh, 6 volts as well okay right ladies and gents i hope that makes sense okay um so we know that the voltage across there is 6 volts okay right now let's go to the next question they say to us uh, calculate the reading on emitter A1. All right, we've already done that in a sense. Okay, now that we know what the current is, we said the current is uh, 3 over 5, right? So A1 will be 2 times the current I1, or, or let's rather say A1, I mean A2 rather. So we found out that the current on A2 was 3 over 5. We just calculated it now. So this will be 2 times 3 over 5. And so that total current there will be 6 over 5 amperes. All right. So that's the current uh, A1. All right. And now they say to us, calculate the internal resistance of the circuit, right? All right. Uh, rather within the battery. So we've got the EMF value, and please note every time that we want the, uh, the internal resistance, we are going to use, all right, I'm just trying to make some space here. We're going to use E is equal to I into R plus uh, small r there. Right, and I want you guys to please note in this case, we've got the total current, but as yet, we were uh, to get or rather to obtain the total resistance of the circuit, right? Remember that when we substitute here, we should get the total resistance of the circuit, right? But another way in which to uh, calculate that, 
Remember that we've got E is equal to V external plus V internal. So we could get the total external resist uh, voltage, right? And just find out what V internal is. But I'll take the first root. Okay, let's find out what the total resistance is, right? So firstly, let's work out what are our resistors in parallel. So let's find the effective resistance in parallel, right? We've got 15 and 15, right? So I'm going to say, well, R parallel. Now, because the two resistors are equal, then they would be, uh, the effective resistance would be half um, the, uh, you know, one of them, right? So, uh, but I can say, well, my R parallel is product over sum, okay? So that's 15 times 15 divided by 15 plus 15, right? Uh, so that would give us, now remember, uh, if you take that, that would give you 7.5 ohms. So this is the effective resistance in parallel, right? Okay, you can go and check it out. Okay, you should be able to get that answer. Uh, so if we take that, that's going to be 15 times 15 divided by uh, 30, right? That's 15 plus 15, and that gives us 7.5. Alternatively, you could use, uh, we know, 1 over R parallel. That's 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And in this case, we'll say 1 over 15 plus 1 over 15. That gives us 2 over 15. But remember, you still need to invert that uh, to get the effective resistance. And that's going to be 7.5. Right. Now, can we calculate? Well, we know the EMF is 20.4, right? Our current, 6 over 5. Oh, Actually, we're not done calculating uh, uh, the total resistance. Remember, we still have the 9 ohm. So we are adding R parallel, which gives us uh, 7.5. But remember, we still need to add it to the 9 ohm resistor. Okay, so which means R external will be 9 plus 7.5. And that would give us 16.5 ohms okay so our external would be 16.5 and we're looking for the internal resistance okay so i'm going to take our um, emf right that's 20.4 divided by 6 over 5 okay i get 17 right so i get 17 is equal to now remember what did i do i divided both sides by 6 over 5 what i did on the left i did on the right that cancels with that right i got 17 if you don't mind i'm going to continue on, on to this side i get 17 is equal to 16.5 plus r and to get the value of r i'll say 17 minus 16.5 and that will give me 0 0.5 ohms. Right, so the EMF of the circuit will be 0 0.5 ohms. And ladies and gents, yo, as I said, yo, the uh, Limpopo examiners were really fighting this time around. Uh, even the English in this question paper, yay! Yeah, that's really, really deep, uh, higher grade English, okay? Uh, and um, I think this is a good preparation for, you know, the, the prelims. And please, guys, note that we've got a camp that is coming up. Uh, that will be between the 23rd to the 25th of uh, November, right? And please don't miss out on it, all right? If you need more details, uh, all the information will be uh, on the description of the video, right? At least our contact details, you can get in touch with us. And let's be together, uh, whether you want to attend online or in person, and uh, that will be available. Otherwise, ladies and gents, all the best to those of you that are writing tomorrow. Shop, shop.